Good afternoon, children. Yes, yesterday we had drawn fill in the blanks and opposite words. Have you bahited them? No, children. Daily you have to bahite then and there only. Okay. Then you have to bahite your work. So today, what we will do? I will write the question answers and we will read and understand them. Okay, children. Don't forget to send your homework daily. Okay, be up to date. So that we can put the present for you. Daily without fail for all the subject teachers you have to send your work. Okay. Let us start the question answers. I will write on board. Copy them. Yes children. See here. I have written the question answers. Let us read first. Who was Ramu Kaka? Who was Ramu Kaka? Ramu Kaka was a cap seller. He used to sell the caps. Ramu Kaka was a cap seller. Next, repeat the question. Who was Ramu Kaka? Who was Ramu Kaka? Ramu Kaka was a cap seller. Why were all the children so fond of Ramu Kaka? Why were all children they used they were fond of Ramu Kaka? The children were so fond of Ramu Kaka as he told the interesting stories. He told the interesting stories of people he had met in other villages. Right? He used to tell the stories to keep the children engaged. And he used to manage to sell some few caps. So here children, that's why. Why he used to sell more? Because he used to entertain the children. Whatever happened in the other villages, he used to tell the stories. Right? So children, he used to tell stories to the children. They were, that's why they were liking Ramu Kaka very much. Why were the children so fond of Ramu Kaka? Answer is, the children were so fond of Ramu Kaka as he told the interesting stories of people he had met in other villages. Right? So answer this lengthy. You have to keep in your mind. If you know the story well, you can write the answers. Right? So I had the spellings, words and the meanings. Okay? Next question. What happened when Ramu Kaka went to sleep under the tree? What happened there in the story? When Ramu Kaka was tired and before moving to the other village, he wanted to take some rest. Right? So, he chose one huge shady tree to take rest under that. What happened when he slept there? Under the tree? When? See the answer? When Ramu Kaka went to sleep under the tree, the monkeys quickly slid down the tree. What they did? The monkeys quickly, they slid down, moving smoothly. Slid down the tree, opened his basket. They opened his basket and took away one cap each. Means for each one of them, they took one one cap for themselves. Right? All the monkeys, slowly they slid down the tree opened his basket and they all took one one cap for each of them. Right? Yes. Read one more time. What happened Ramu Kaka, when Ramu Kaka went to sleep under the tree? What happened? When the Ramu Kaka went to sleep under the tree, the monkeys quickly slid down the tree. Quickly, they slid down the tree, opened 
his basket and took away one cap each. Right children? Read one more time all the question answers then I'll write the board. We will write the next question answer. Who was Rahu Kaka? In this class only you have to buy her this. Understood? While writing, read five times, write one time. Okay? Who was Ramu Kaka? Ramu Kaka was a cap seller. Why were the children so fond of Ramu Kaka? The children were so fond of Ramu Kaka as he told the interesting stories of people he had met in other villages. Next question. What happened when Ramu Kaka went to sleep under the tree? When Ramu Kaka went to sleep under the tree, the monkey quickly slid down the tree, opened his basket and took away one cap for each. Okay? One cap each. Now children, pause the video, write these question answers. I will give you the next one. Yes children, see the fourth question. What tricks had Ramu Kaka's grandfather played to get his caps back from the monkeys? The same story had happened with the Ramu Kaka's grandfather, right? All the same situation, even he had gone through. So what, what trick he had played to get his caps back from the monkeys? Yes, this is the question. Let us see the answer. Ramu Kaka's grandfather had known about the monkey's character of imitating human activities. Here children, Ramu Kaka's grandfather, he was well known about the monkey's character that they will imitate, copy the human activities. As we do, they copy us and they try to do that same activity. So here, the Ramu Kaka's grandfather, he was knowing about it. That imitating human activities. The monkeys threw the caps down as Ramu Kaka's grandfather threw his caps down. As Ramu Kaka threw Ramu Kaka's grandfather threw his caps down, the same thing, the, all the monkeys, they copied him and even they threw the caps. So what happened there? Ramu Kaka's grandfather, he collected all his caps and he went to other village. Right? Here children, I'll share again that same videos of old cap seller story and the new cap seller story, the new generation. Okay? You can compare both of them. The old story was Ramu Kaka's grandfathers. And the new generation story is all about Ramu Kaka. Okay children? So copy this. I'll give you the next, the last question which will clear your doubts about this generation. Okay? Our last question, why didn't the monkeys throw the caps down? Yes, in Ramakaka's grandfather's story, all the monkeys throw the cap. Then why didn't they throw the cap in this generation, in the Ramakaka's generation? Let us see the answer. The monkeys did not throw the caps. They did not throw the caps down because... Their grandfather monkey had already narrated. Narrated means instructed. That the monkey's grandfather already, he was sitting with them and he had already narrated. Means instructed. Then Ramu Kaka's grandfather's incident. Whatever happened with him, 
the grandfather's monkeys with the Ram Kaka's grandfather. That all incident he had already told the monkeys and warn them and warn them that Ramu Kaka will also drop his cap and expect the monkeys to imitate him too. That means the grandfather monkey already told the monkeys whatever happened in his time. So he said to the monkeys even Ramu Kaka will also do the same thing children. Don't do that. He is saying to the monkeys, the other monkeys, he had already narrated, don't throw the cap. Even he expect from you to imitate Ramukaka, to copy Ramukaka. You don't throw it. Right? So, all the monkeys did, did not throw the caps down. So, what happened there in this generation? Ramukaka did not got his caps back. Right children? Okay, I hope you understood the complete story. So, read the question answers, fill in the blanks, opposite words, new words with the meanings. Okay, you have to read regularly. So, note down your homework. In this homework, you have to write, read and by heart. Okay, children, you have to write, read and buy. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye, take care.